Hello everyone, USF fans, uh, alumni and students. Uh, I'm Pat Olson, longtime voice of USF Athletics. We'd like to welcome you to uh, take a, a look back at what was a very successful year on the Hilltop, our 2011 and 12 academic year. The men's basketball team won 20 games for the first time in 30 years. The women's cross country team won their third consecutive conference title. The men's golf team went to a uh, NCAA postseason bid. A lot of excitement building on the Hilltop under the first year of uh, USF Director of Athletics, Scott Sidwell, who ran a tremendous fundraising campaign, the spring tour, the dressing up uh, in the lobby of War Memorial Gym, the ribbon boards inside the gym. A lot of exciting stuff happening here on the Hilltop uh, this past year. And uh, let's take a look now at uh, some of those highlights. It's been a tremendous year. We've had a lot of change, a lot of great things have happened. We're really looking forward to a lot more things. I mean, we started right here in War Memorial Gym and in our lobby, taking a look at our history and trying to find ways to really bring forward all the great things that we've been able to do over time here with our program. And that's something that I really want to continue on as always try to find ways to promote, enhance, and really take this University of San Francisco brand and put it out there nationally. Yeah, David Fisdale, my assistant, and I walked in here. Both of us uh, played in, in this gym looked a lot different uh, than it does now. We've gone through a lot of renovations. This gym looks very nice. It's fun to, to come to USF because there, there is a lot of tradition. You, know, you can see all the banners on, on the wall. And the Final Four with, with Bill Russell and Bill Cartwright and, and just so many great players have played here. And uh, it's, it's cool. There's a lot, a lot of history in this show. It's great to have Bill Cartwright in the house and, and to have a USF legend, a basketball legend, a part of it and giving him a chance to see this and, and trying to get back to where he took this program. It was a national power, uh, but then our fans and seeing all the 24 jerseys out there, it was really neat. Uh, they were a big part of what we did uh, and I'm glad they, got, they get to celebrate tonight. I thought our team was very, very locked in. Uh, they didn't want to have that feeling again. I feel like they, they played like they loved winning and they hated losing desperately. And, uh, when you have that type of focused effort and you're really in it together, uh, good things are going to happen. It just shows too that the effort just even at the end of the game and the really the desire to win and so we got that tip and, and Mel passed to Rena and beat the buzzer it was it was amazing and I told them hey let's celebrate but let, let's do more let, let's keep going let's keep this rolling this is the first time I think we've been a ranked team in what two or three years um, you know last year we didn't have much success so setting the stage for us right now telling us hey this is the number one team in the con conference and we beat them well if we stay hungry and we stay motivated and we believe more we're just going to get better and hopefully uh, get more wins and uh, get closer to our uh, end goal i'm obviously very excited to to win the conference title three three times in a row i mean our our goal going into the year was to win the conference title and get to the ncaa championships and I mean, obviously that was our goal last year as well and um, I think it's very important to establish that consistency of quality performance. I think it has a lot to do with learning how to goal set, which is a big part of competition and, and these guys planning out such a long season. Um, you know, it feels like so long ago that we sat down and put it on the whiteboard in our locker room about getting back to regionals. Ooh, hell of a I'm so proud of these three women. They've done an awesome job all season long and They've competed at their best when it matters most, and it's uh, it's really exciting to be going to compete at the NCAA championships with, with three athletes that, that I feel have, have more to come. Just excited for Kyle being the number five pick in the draft to the Kansas City Royals. I think the whole team, the whole university, we live through Kyle right now. We're, we're inspired by his work, by what kind of person he is by what he's been able to do as a, as a baseball player and as a student athlete. We're really working hard to take our programs to a national level. Everything that we do is going to focus on how we put our student athletes, coaches, everybody that works in the University of San Francisco Athletic Department in a position to succeed at the highest level. Well, there you have it, uh, a look back at the uh, 2011 and 12 uh, academic year here on the Hilltop, a tremendous uh, year of building, uh, year one under the direction of uh, first year director of athletics, uh, Scott Sidwell. Look for many more exciting things to come in the uh, 2012 and uh, 2013 year. You can really just feel the excitement uh, here on the Hilltop.
We invite you now to click on the link below. You can read the uh, annual report put out by the USF Media Department, a tremendous report, lots of good information uh, in that document. You can read some great things about the uh, high level of uh, student enthusiasm and, and many more things to look at. So check out the link below. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm Pat Olson. Go Dons!